Let's do a demo of Hevo Data. Uh, Hevo is an end-to-end -end data pipeline platform, as it says, that helps organizations pull data from multiple different sources into the data warehouse to activate, to transform, do analytics on top of that data. It's all cloud-based. Once you come in and log in, we're going to be welcomed with a screen that looks like this. We're going to go through the steps uh, to get an experience of what the Hevo data platform looks like. At the very beginning, it does have some sources, which you can certainly use to connect to if you're connecting to relational databases like Postgres or SaaS applications like uh, Salesforce, CRM, all the applications that run your business today do show up here quite a rich list of SaaS applications. Select a source, which would be a Postgres database. Uh, click continue. It asks us for our destination where we want that data syndicated to. We're going to click continue. There are definitely fewer destinations. There are sources, which makes sense. Now, Hevo Data brings us to the UI, which is a very typical of what we see. To the left side is the navigation pane. To the right is the canvas and the user profile showing to the top. Given what Hevo does, ETL, ELT, extracting and loading data, we have our source, we have the destination being Snowflake. And we're going to connect all of that. But before we jump into that, let's do a walkthrough of the environment. So here, pipelines, typically you think about this being what moves data from the sources to the destination. Here are models that can transform that data within the destination activations uh, to sync data across your warehouses to the target. So ETL and then the reverse ETL that goes back to run your business, you might have brought in campaigns uh, or marketing data or user behavior data. Uh, you run some machine learning models, you do some transformations, and now you need to send that list back to the marketing team to run their marketing campaign. So this would be reverse ETL sending that data back. And then of course, there are the workflows for the orchestration and the destinations here where the data would go. Very interesting. There is a live chat here. I think you can uh, interactively chat with, I'm guessing that support or somebody from the Hevo team. As always, we don't dwell too much on the, on the UI of these tools. Uh, our goal is to show the high level functionalities, but UI always plays a very important role. That said, let's go back into our pipelines. Start with connecting our Postgres. We have our credentials. There are several options for the ingestion, logical uh, replication with log base. A replication. There is a table replication as well as a custom SQL. Let's select that for now, put in the database and some other credentials. Connection was successful. Let's test and continue. And here we're going to put in a sample query because we selected that option. Not recommended, but for the sake of the demo, we can progress with that query mode. We can do a full load delta and only change the data capture. Uh, again, because of the sake of the demo, go with the full load. Typically, uh, you're not going to be doing that for production. On the destination side, given Hevo is uh, an integration tool, put in a Snowflake credentials. Snowflake credentials enter successfully, and we progress to the next step, asking for the destination table prefix. For this, give it the uh, HD Hevo data. This will be uh, what is prefix to the destination table? We do auto mapping. Now this brings us to review the mapping of what's being loaded into Snowflake. So we can say our ingestion, zero transformations, uh, schema mapper. Then of course there is a load. Currently that is active and we can see the query result here that should uh, move that data. Go back to Snowflake, refresh. We see our HD query result showing up on the Snowflake side. And if we were to click this, do a data preview, data coming from a Postgres database now shows up here in uh, Snowflake ready for the transformations to happen. So very fast. Now, once that data is in Snowflake going down into transformations, we're not going to go into the details of this, but just to highlight the capabilities that are available within uh, Hero data, you can come here, put in a uh, transformations. You could write Python code here to do your transformation. Really borrowing from that, what uh, DBT has done with 
uh, using code to do transformations of data in place within your modern data warehouse. This could be transforming that data uh, in Snowflake. So you can certainly use Python here. It does call it out. Don't want to write code. Uh, there is a drag and drop interface. I'm going to touch on that a little bit later because that's coming. Let's touch on the schema mappers. So uh, sometimes you might want to get your source data and keep the same column names in your data warehouse. But in other cases, you want to change them to be more business friendly. This mapping can also give you that uh, visual perspective to see that uh, you can certainly edit mapping. I don't have the permissions to do that yet. I'm guessing because my uh, job is still running. But if you were to stop that job and come in here, you should be able to edit that and also select the things that should go or not go. And Hivo data does add some additional metadata. If we go back over, there are some additional metadata that Hivo data does add. Uh, very uh, similar to the demo we did around Fivetran as well as Stitch data. A lot of this family of tools would uh, make this available for use in auditing and and uh, and retries if there are errors. Uh, here we can see the load the load status of our job. It runs three minutes ago. Took about <clears throat> fifty six seconds. That job is still currently active. Let's go ahead and pause that for now. Then of course here we can see the activity log. Uh, but going back to the transformations, uh, let's go ahead and enable the drag and drop interface, just so we highlight that for folks who are more interested in that. There is the appreciation that there are folks that don't want to write code, would prefer drag and drop. So it seems like uh, Hivo data is definitely meeting the needs of those folks, or at least trying. Uh, you can bring fields here. You can flatten JSON out. You can mask a field. Coming from my days of working with the talents and the informaticals of the world, this kind of seems uh, familiar. So this will be a demo in itself. Um, if you want me to go in and do a deeper dive demo on this functionality, it's still uh, new. I'm more than happy to, to do that. So there you have it. We've seen the overview. We've gone through. We've seen how we can connect to Postgres instance. We've loaded data into Snowflake. Really quick to do. The whole idea of this ETL or more ELT type tools is get your data from the sources as quickly as possible with lower latency, right? At the speed of your business, get that into a data warehouse and then do the transformations, do the processing, leveraging your data warehouses, compute capabilities. So this paradigm that Snowflake really ushers and, 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 and excels with is what that teams are really doing now, keeping this ELT as lightweight as possible. And within Snowflake, you can really unpack that data, leveraging the compute and the scalability that Snowflake does provide. So very fascinating. I hope this was a, a relevant demo for anyone looking to tr understand Hivo data or you want to try it out. Uh, hopefully this gives you a, a good perspective. Last but not least, we'll just call out the dark theme here. I know uh, this is not a, a functionality type capability to call, but just from uh, a preference perspective, there is a lot of people out there who prefer dark theme. So the fact that they make it available as an option, trust me, is very much appreciated. I wish more companies or more platforms would do that. It's just easy on the eyes when staring at the screen for long. Uh, we didn't go into models, creating models here, but those are things that are also available, very similar to the transformations. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and create a model here just to see. The, the destination is Snowflake, and then in here, you can now put in that query to transform that data within Snowflake. Very similar to the concept of dbt, where you load data into Snowflake, you use something like dbt for transformations. A lot of these ETL tools now are following with that paradigm to allow and facilitate the transformation of data within Snowflake and taking advantage of that because Snowflake is second to none when it comes to that. So why not take advantage? of it for transforming that data that has been uh, loaded. All right, there you have it. I think this brings us to the end of this quick overview. We've seen a layout of, uh, of Hivo. We've oriented in terms of what it does from a functionality perspective. Hivo data plays in the space of data pipelines, ETL, ELT, moving data from sources into destinations. So if you have the apps that are running your business and you want to bring all the data into your data warehouse, you probably want to think about tools in this space like Hivo Data and some of the other players we've talked about equally as well, the Five Trans and 
the stitch data and the, the machine Leon and a whole library of other tools, Rivery. We've covered quite a bit of our tools in this space, but links to uh, Hivo data will all be in the description below. Check it out. If you have any questions, as I always do recommend, I reach out directly to the team. I'm sure they can go in to have more tailored discussions uh, around your specific needs or your specific use cases or the needs of your team. They can cover things around billing. They can cover things around the connectors that are available. If uh, those connectors meet the, the connectors you're looking for. So just a lot of questions that I'm sure that team can answer. But uh, as always, uh, this has been through with Demo Hub. Thanks for watching to the end. I'll see you in the next demo. Thank <laughs> you.